Hi, this is Sean Hyman from iWealth.com, and I just want to talk to you today uh, about North Korea and its act, recent actions. Of course, we've been seeing this stuff on the news lately and all the ramifications that are happening uh, and how the UN, US, and other countries are condemning, uh, condemning this uh, as a whole. But I want to talk to you and bring it down really to the currency level and show you what it's doing in the currency markets. So let's go ahead and get started. Be sure to check out the written blog at www.mywealth.com slash blog. North Korea's nuke and missile tests shake up the yen. That's what I want to talk to you about today. North Korea's madman, Kim Jong-il, has tested a nuke and has fired off at least five missiles in the last few days. Some say it's up to six now. Some of them immediately threatened Japan, while others immediately threatened South Korea. It's also gyrating currencies, too, so let's take a look. This is the uh, dollar yen, and I don't normally focus on ultra short time frames, but uh, in order to pick up a lot of the excessive volatility just over the past few days, even, I want to focus on a five minute chart here of dollar yen, USD slash JPY. And you'll see the highlighted areas that I pointed out. There are other spikes uh, in between those two, but these are two big. Uh, uh, spikes that have happened in the dollar yen uh, on a ultra short time frame so you've seen some pretty massive moves in very short periods of time um, and this is all due to all the the, the waves that North Korea is making um, as they make threats as they fire off missiles as they test nukes and things of this sort um, currencies that are that are being affected don't like uncertainty uh, geopolitical instability and things of that sort and that's exactly what we have here however with that uncertainty, with that instability, brings opportunity. Volatility, you can see, also is on the rise on the daily chart, uh, as seen by that uh, inclining uh, blue uh, line at the bottom. And so even, even on longer periods of time, you're starting to see uh, volatility increase in the yen. So if you like volatility, the yen is definitely the place to be. Now here's uh, Elton John, I mean Elvis, I mean Kim Jong-il. <laughs> He's he wears the weirdest glasses. He poofs he poofs his hair uh, so uh, so high. I think some of that nuclear fallout or something has gotten to him. But uh, you know, I hear he poofs his hair so high because he's so short and it adds an inch or two to his uh, stature there. But anyway, he is a truly a madman and has had a bad history. Um, this is like trying to negotiate with the devil here. I mean, you just you you really can't negotiate with this guy. And here's his rap sheet to show you why. I mean, even back in '06, I mean, he conducted a, a nuclear test, and then it's just gone back and forth of you know promising to be a good boy and then going back on his word and uh, just you know basically using. Uh, you know, foreign aid to his advantage by promising that he'll be a good guy and then uh, reneging on that later on uh, and, and, you know, making his threats. So, you know, his latest one, of course, May 25th, 09, North Korea conducts second nuclear test. So, I mean, he's, he's obviously on a path, on a mission, and this is not going to change. Um, and here, here we see uh, a map of where the underground nuclear test was uh, made in North Korea by the highlighted yellow spots and then the two missiles there are showing where the uh, some of the missile tests have uh, been launched from and you know, one the upper uh, right one points uh, in Japan's airspace and is a real threat to Japan and therefore will gyrate the Japanese yen a lot um, the the lower mid, more middle one uh, will threaten South Korea uh, quite a bit and also it's one South Korean one W O N so um, you know, lots of things happening in the currency market, not just in the uh, news media, and lots of opportunity there. Um, I always like to say that we can't uh, help what's happening, we can't prevent what's happening, you and I as traders or investors. However, we can take advantage of what's happening since what is happening is going to happen anyway. So again, hopefully for the sake of, uh, you know, world and, and, and peacefulness, um, something can happen here, but in the meantime, there will be volatility uh, because of it and ability to take advantage of it as well. So if you can thrive on volatility, then bottom line is the yen pairs are the place to be. However, if you hate excessive volatility, then you may want to avoid the yen pairs completely and focus on dollar pairs instead, you know, euro dollar, pound dollar, things of that sort.
No matter what happens in the world, however, though, there's always opportunities in the currency market, and that's the main point of this whole thing. So uh, peacetime, wartime, whatever, there's opportunities to be had in the global currency market. The world's such a big place, there's always something going on somewhere that is gyrating things around for whatever reason. North Korea just happens to be the reason today. If you want to find out how to uh, get started in our courses to learn how to currency trade, you can go to MyWealth.com, click on the Courses tab uh, that you see highlighted there. Uh, if you got more questions, you can call us at 866-257-9677. That's 866-257-9677. Uh, or you can also reach us by email at sales at mywealth.com. Also, I'd like to take this opportunity to just remind you to spread the word by putting our links uh, and articles on your Twitter, Facebook, MySpace pages, and other uh, things. Spread the word around uh, because people need uh, to learn about the financial world now more than ever, and people need to take charge of their financial future now more than ever. So don't wait. Get in a course and get educated at www.mywealth.com. I hope you enjoyed that today. I uh, want to encourage you to get into a course, get educated. Uh, it's important now more than ever that, that people learn to diversify their investments, uh, to not only have stocks, commodities, things of that sort, but to have currency investments. Uh, the, the U.S. dollar has just recently broken its uptrend again, so you know Americans have a, a, a depreciating dollar almost by the day here recently. They need to be involved in other currencies. But even if uh, the U.S. dollar is not your home currency, uh, and even if, you know, you're not dealing directly with the Japanese yen, for instance, like we talked about today as your home currency, you need to have other currency exposure because these things go up and down and you can take advantage of it and they're not so much correlated to, uh, to stocks and other holdings that you may have. So it can help you a whole lot in this uh, financial crisis and recession that we've gone through. So go ahead and get started today. Click on our courses tab at mywealth.com. Learn how to get started. Also, at the bottom of our written blog today, you can click uh, at the bottom to learn how to get a free practice account. It's totally free, real-time quotes, real-time charts. To, you can click to get into one of our courses. You can also click if you're ready to get started live or if you feel that you will be shortly. Go ahead and bookmark that. So anyway, I appreciate you being with me today, and hopefully we can talk about more pleasant things in the future other than North Korea nukes and missiles. But uh, anyway, I'm glad that you uh, got to... Be here with me for that, and I look forward to talking to you next time. Thanks so much.